a web driver like we always face the problem like rc has a limitation of uh, running the test cases uh, through proxy so most of the time we end up uh, in a lot of confusing configuration and all so we go to the web driver web driver is doing nothing but using the client api to run the browser uh, like it uses if you look at the firefox it uses uh, uh, firefox extension to drive the firefox on local it uses uh, uh, firefox driver chrome driver and and uh, all the browser specific driver to run the test and uh, when you look at the selenium most of the time we feel uh, uh, it's quite technical because of uh, uh, most of the time uh, one has to go through the java training and also I, I when i started uh, thinking about the automation uh, uh, testing i was evaluating couple of tools and but then realized that selenium has the most matured api uh, in terms of uh, 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 handling uh, various platform and since i didn't have a um, lot of time to learn and go through the java so i was looking for a, a, a very easy option so i went ahead and found out this uh, uh, tool called sst so uh, you can yeah, i need a projector but i have got it no, 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 not the screenshot. This is a slide that I have created. So, uh, what the question is like, what I was talking about to be to automate or not automate is the first question, and why I'm using the Selenium and why Python. So, as I already mentioned that uh, Selenium has a, cl a client API available in different languages and since uh, Python is quite easy to uh, learn and anybody can go ahead and start uh, in, uh, with the programming like with a basic idea of programming you can you can start it uh, start off with so I have uh, um, just so basically the uh, here the idea is to uh, to the give what what kind of work that i'm doing with uh, sst considering the fact that i'm not a no, automation expert or i have never done automation before so uh, that's how it is like oh, sorry So, this is the SST, this is the project page which I generally refer for uh, my day-to-day uh, -day work uh, like and here is the installation. So, you need a package manager PIP and uh, you do uh, you you from here you can install the SST now when you install a SST on your machine it will essentially give you the uh, unit test J unit XML as well as the uh, test tool along with the uh, the SST flavor so when you whenever you can you can use those library uh, along with the SST in order to uh, uh, automate not only your functional test cases, your also your unit test cases. So, uh, if you if if I go for a, a simple test case like that, this is the sample test case of uh, written in SST. This one like uh, from SST dot actions, we import the uh, import star. So actions is nothing but the set of function which is uh, given in an API, which will uh, uh, which has that like you can open the web page assert the titles or you can uh, go ahead and uh, uh, inspect the element by uh, the name or by uh, the ID or by CSS or by XPath. So,
no, no, that, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you. PY extension. Uh, if you enter, we open the web page like this, assert the title, and then it will close it down. For any 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 of the uh, web application uh, automation, you can you can write the uh, if if you want to run it as a. Uh, uh, with, with your uh, unit test case, you can write the unit test case class inside that. You can write the definition of that function and entire uh, actions, and you can run it headless. So it will also provide you the uh, facility to run the uh, test cases on a headless browser. In in order to under, uh, to make sure that you are not m uh, wasting much of your time looking at the browser action, rather you are you are only concentrate uh, concentrating on the functionality of of the uh, the web application so these are some of the uh, command line uh, uh, these are the uh, command line function that uh, you can command line action that uh, options that you have uh, you can you can run it through uh, yeah, with the help of SST like uh, if you want to change the browser type you can you can simply write SST hyphen run uh, hyphen B and you can you can mention the Chrome so for Chrome you need to install the Chrome driver and then you can you, you can run uh, the same test on Chrome uh, at the same time, like it, it also give you the uh, facility to take a snapshot. Uh, like, uh, okay, uh, so, and uh, also taking the snapshot, and uh, you can also uh, execute the sc uh, script with uh, uh, after the first failure. So, and in a debug mode. So, it it it, it gives you a lot of facility in terms of. Uh, action like on on your command line so you don't need to specifically go and change the make the change in your script rather you can run it through the command line and and uh, do your stuff and run the sst using sst in unit test suite so that was the same test case which i am running as a but as a unit test case so you can create the uh, uh, sst test case as a as a as a test suite in your uh, unit test folder and you you can you can execute this this uh, script but for uh, unit test case you you instead of running sst hyphen run you can you can run it as a python uh, uh, extension so it's like python uh, hyphen m unit test so this this is the same test case i'm executing as a unit test case and not not as a functional test These are the action references, which uh, which is actually making it uh, uh, very simple to write the test cases. Uh, like we, you can see that uh, table of content, like all the actions over over there. Like you can assert the uh, you can assert the button attribute checkbox checkbox value CSS property display and all, and you can. As I mentioned, like uh, if you want to inspect the element, you can inspect the element by uh, the name of the element, like the uh, the text of the element, or the uh, CSS class of that element, or by the ID or by uh, X path. And as far as the iframe is concerned, like I have given a try, but I was not succeeded. Iframe. Whenever you are hand trying to identify the iframe, you need to give it as a CSS class only. You don't need to specifically mention uh, iframe for that. Like if that iframe has a class, 
uh, call iframe you can you can actually write the iframe inside the iframe there is a another element and then you can go ahead and, uh, and inspect that element and, and very validate that for ajax uh, for all the ajax ajax related page there is a there is a one more uh, function called wait for wait for this is the uh, wait for function uh, here so as soon as you log into let's say uh, gmail you can actually you need to wait uh, while every ajax uh, elements load on the page and then you can go ahead and uh, uh, do your another testing so for here uh, in case of uh, handling the ajax request or uh, any if you are testing the ajax application you can use wait underscore for and uh, asset title so it will wait for uh, the title to be loaded and then you can go ahead and do the testing one. so these are uh, whenever you are trying to uh, using sst this is uh, uh, whatever the function that i am running that is on local machine for uh, <coughs> remote machine you have a you can use remote uh, selenium server to use the sst and uh, there is one more uh, uh, that there is one more commercial uh, tool called sauce lab so sauce lab they are providing on demand uh, cloud service in in order to uh, uh, to provide the infrastructure to in order to run your testing uh, on a, a, any remote machine on any remote browser so for sst remote it will it is it works in the same manner it's just that you need to install the uh, rc server with uh, java in in a standalone server in this fashion and uh, you can go ahead and uh, run the sst hyphen remote and uh, uh, entire entire test suite with uh, with uh, by by giving the directory uh, di directives like d SST hyphen uh, remote D and example, and you can uh, hit your uh, remote URL in that case. So these are the options that uh, that that is also available in in SST remote, where you have the debug mode, you have a fail fast mode, you have a uh, like you can use the. Sure, please. Come you can use the different browser version and uh, you can use the browser platform like you can uh, execute your test a single test script or a test suite on a different platform uh, by uh, giving this proxy So for remote URL, like as I mentioned, there are two ways. You can use uh, Selenium RC itself, and uh, you can use Source Lab. There is a, there, there is an online infrastructure called Source Lab. So uh, if you if you look at the so this is how uh, you can use like you let uh, let's say this is your URL HTTP your user your API key at so you need to uh, you can uh, instead of this you can directly put your ssh uh, entire uh, uh, url address in order to connect to the remote server and you can invoke the test but in the same case like you need to uh, run this uh, uh, you, you need to keep on running this uh, Sel selenium standalone server because anyways like uh, it is at the same time even you uh, use the selenium web driver if you want to uh, run the test on your remote server or remote machine you need to use the selenium uh, uh, standalone web server that's that's that is required anywhere so 
here uh, what uh, what we are doing is I am uh, writing hyphen D example. So hyphen D is a nothing but the directory. So in, inside my directory I have the test suite. I am I am executing all the testing from the directory itself. And does it have a file which says the order of the script or how is it ordered? I mean whatever the order that you have created. Uh, no, 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 not, not alphabetical, date modified. date modified. If I edit something later, it will again replace the order. So, in that case, uh, possibly uh, you can, or uh, you, or you, you also have the uh, specific subfolder to be run. So, it's like, let's say, if you want to uh, <coughs> keep all the, let, let's say, you have test all the t uh, t test cases uh, right from 1 to 10 if you are putting down there you you can execute it uh, based on the uh, oh, so it's like uh, alphabetical order or date modifier order basically so you can set it. yeah you can set that PSV file. You have the facility to uh, export or to have the test report in CSV file. Uh, so, this is the scre save screenshot on a failure, uh, which is which give you the a facility to take the screenshot and uh, in report format like report type is xml so uh, hyphen r when you when you execute any test uh, using sst hyphen r and my test it will give you the report in xml and And as far as the shared module and shared directory is concerned, like I have never used it, so not sure I'm, I'm how it works. And uh, as far as the multiple uh, browser is concerned, like I uh, I was trying to figure out uh, how to open the multiple browser and uh, execute the test, but I couldn't do that. So I asked the question to the guy who has developed this uh, uh, framework. And he has taken this as a bug, and they are trying to modify the documents now. So well, let's see. I mean, how? But uh, if So this was the question for that, like you have the you have the test case with you and now you want to run it on uh, different browser, multiple browser. So they have given the solution for that tech uh, browser factory. So they have different uh, browser factory uh, class available over there like uh, Phantom JS uh, factory. Opera uh, factory, IE factory, Chrome and Firefox factory. So you can override uh, uh, the default factory, which is a Firefox. The default, it will open only Firefox, but you can override the uh, browser factory by using run test. Not, you can use it uh, instead of Phantom JS, you can use this Chrome uh, factory or Opera factory or IE fa uh, factory as per your convenience, and you can execute the same test sequentially on different browser. It's not parallel testing, but sequentially you can run on different browser. So, yeah. Uh, you, you need to install the driver basically. So, for Chrome, like I have tried uh, using, uh, I mean, the different browsers of Chrome. So, for Chrome, you need a Chrome driver. Chrome driver. And, uh, for Selenium, like you also have a IE driver option available. So
So, you can actually install the IE driver and run the test on your IV. It will invoke actually this driver are nothing but they uh, invoke they are the uh, API function to invoke the uh, the browser itself. So, basically you if you have the Chrome driver you can invoke the Chrome and uh, etc. As far as the uh, Firefox is concerned, the Firefox has a uh, extension uh, with with it and it will actually uh, uh, invoke the fi Firefox itself. So, you do not need a driver for that specifically, you, you just need an extension for that. So, it is a inbuilt ex extension whenever you are running any, uh, uh, any, any binding using for any selenium binding if you are using they have an inbuilt uh, uh, extension for Cro uh, Firefox. So, the reason why it will by default invoke the Firefox and not, not any other browser. No, no, this will uh, uh, which, which this, this statement right, yeah. So, this one actually override the uh, default uh, browser. So, in case you want to run it on a different browser, you can use this uh, as a, this is basically a unit test case. This is not a functional test case. So, if I comment that line, so by default my browser, I mean Firefox. It will, it will open only Firefox. So, just to override this, uh, I am using this, Phantom JS or you have a something called uh, Opera factory, okay. IE factory, Fire, uh, Chrome factory. So, using that, you can actually override that and pretty much any more questions so Yeah, you can, you can, yeah, yeah. So, how it uh, segregates the individual files outputs and the inputs of the and how, how do I look uh, the results of the individual files? So, you have, there is a uh, folder called, uh, so, <coughs> let us say if you uh, like, if you look at it like I am running the script from the folder called script. So, whenever you are running any any uh, uh, any test, it will create the result folder. Automatically. Yeah, okay. and it will so store the, the yeah. My project, say, yeah. My project. yeah. So, so it will it will uh, create the result folder and it will store all the result over there. No, 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 it will append that. It will append. It will append. No, sorry, uh, it will actually create another XML file every time you run that. Oh, yeah. okay. So, so it is it's basically uh, the uh, based on the your run time, like let us say you have run the test case in the morning. Uh, so, it will create one file. After that, if you modify something and you, let us say you are uh, giving, a, if that your test results are different from whatever the previous one, it will create the error file. Otherwise, it will override. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.